everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel i am samantha and i am for the love of sims thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it and i hope you all are looking forward to the korean war now i know it's been said before that maybe samantha has been taking her time with this episode partially because i didn't want to have more sims pass away selfishly and also I wanted to make sure it was perfect but I decided that I'm gonna kind of go old school with this video so I hope you all are looking forward to it and I hope you will enjoy today's episode but before we get into it if you enjoy The Sims 4 historical gameplay and fun storytelling I highly suggest that you hit the subscribe button and join our love sim family we do all of that and so much more and we have so much fun and I would love to have you all hang out with me now, without further ado, let's go in to the Korean War. So, for starters, I'm going to show you here the Korean War base. This is in South Korea. This is the American base on the lines between South and North Korea. Now, if you don't know much about the Korean War, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history lesson and a recap of what the Korean War was all about and why America was involved. So to paint a picture, it is, it is late June, 1950, when North Korean armed forces invaded South Korea. The war lasted all the way till July, 1953. It was the first major conflict that basically started the Cold War as the Soviet Union supported North Korea and the United States supported South Korea. So basically what happened was North Korea was given arms and was supported by the Soviet Union to invade South Korea. As a response, the United Nations, principally the United States, um, ended up taking sides with South, South Korea and setting up bases and basically joined their side to try to protect their borders. At the time when first the war became a subject in the United States, Harry S. Truman was actually the president at the time when the war started. Truman not only saw the end of World War II, but he also ended up seeing the beginning of the Korean War. At the time, Truman really didn't want to get involved. He was trying his best not to involve America, sold American soldiers, because obviously the end of World War II, and there was already a lot of um, things that he was trying to get pushed through, but as the battle got bigger and the casualties were more and more from South Korea, the United Nations and the United States all opted into supporting South Korea. When I was researching about the Korean War, I actually learned a really cool thing about female soldiers. So I actually love that so many of our soldiers that are going to battle today are females. He actually, with Congress, passed in 1948 um, the Women's Armed Service Integration Act, just two years before the outbreak of the hostilities in Korea. The act allowed women to serve as permanent members of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force for the first time in American history. So women finally were able to become permanent soldiers. They were able to go through all of the same things that their male counterparts did, which is so exciting because I know um, after so much research of World War II, learning about how many women really genuinely wanted to do even more for their country and they felt so empowered when they were just able to work in the factories and do some of these jobs that they weren't allowed to do before. So by the time this new act had been passed, there was 120 thousand women on active duty in the Korean War. So there was a huge amount of female soldiers, healthcare providers, you name it. And I actually read about so many true story accounts from these brave women and a lot of them said the same sentiments of the fact that they were finally treated as equals. They went through the same training as their male counterparts. So they ended up having women volunteering for service in the Women's Army Corps, women in the Air Force, Navy Women's Reserves, and the Women Marines, which is so exciting because I just feel like 
it's such a mon monumental um, experience for women. So their presence eventually became more culturally accepted after Congress had passed that law. And so by the time the war happened, they were able to start helping out more. So that's just the basic um, overview of the Korean War. Now let's go ahead and show you who our soldiers are. Now I am sure there are quite a few faces that you recognize here and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the game so that way you can see them all. So obviously the first one up here we have John Walton Jr. who is Aaron Dempsey's oldest brother and he served in World War One, and he actually survived to tell the story. He served at the same base as James um, as James Busby as well as Theodore Dempsey. So we're very happy to have him here. Well, happy sad, you know what I mean. Next off, we actually have Mary Gibbs, who is Samuel's twin sister. She is the eldest out of all of her family in her home. So she had to go to war. Next up, we have Alicia Mead, who is Stanley's half-sister. Stanley Dempsey, unfortunately, did fall during World War II. May he rest in peace. Thank you for your service, sir. Uh, but this is his half-sister, so I really hope she lives because we don't have Stanley anymore, and that's really sad. Next up, we have Ami Dempsey, who we all love so very much, and she just got engaged in the first part of the world of the Korean War. So if you haven't seen that episode, I will go ahead and link it above. Next up, we have Vixen Lust, who is Evelyn's roommate. We have Jack Clark here, who is Lily's older brother and also happens to be the guy who wasn't really careful with Betty's little heart. Next, we have Bailey Dempsey, who we all love. She is Charles' eldest daughter, and um, I think it would be really sad to see her go just because, you know, we don't have Charles anymore. Like, how much can her mom take at this point? And last but certainly not least, we have beautiful Evelyn. And as you can see, she actually has a completely different hairdo. She has gone back to her natural hair color. You know, she's in the army, she's in the military. She doesn't have time to be, you know, getting her hair dyed all the time, wearing fancy shoes and getting her makeup done. So she's going all natural for the war. Now, before I get too quickly into it, I do want to quickly mention that I do have a few crushes happening. We have Bailey, who is feeling it for Jack. We also have Vixen, who is into Jack, which surprises me. So Vixen must be bisexual, because I thought she was a lesbian, but she's like, Jack is hot. So who am I to say? Evelyn is into Jack, and so is Mary. So Jack is just, you know, living up his best life here. <laughs> in in this whole realm now this here is the american base in south korea where they all are staying who is sleeping here is this little mary yeah this is mary gibbs you know there's tents honey <laughs> uh we've got the tanks we've got tents for everybody to sleep in we've got fires we've got grills and i've given everybody a shower now this is very far from their hometowns they're protecting the front lines we have some that are working as postal services. Uh, Bailey is actually working as a postal, um, as a military postal service, as well as Evelyn. I was reading about women in the South, um, women in the military, and they all, they served in various different roles. Uh, and one that I never thought about was the military post office. Like someone had to make sure the telegrams and important things got either to other sergeants, other military people, as well as friends and family members who were worried about their loved ones back home. So I have Bailey and um, Evelyn working at the uh, post office. We have Ami obviously as the head chef. Uh, but my me time, Ami really wants to spend more time focusing on herself. Why did she think about being in a relate? Oh, she's kind of second guessing getting engaged. She's trying to think about being in a relationship. Was it a good idea in the first place? She could be feeling that way because she is, you know, at war. She might feel like it's not fair to Kenneth. Oh my gosh! I know these girls don't like each other, but why are you fighting? 
That is so interesting. So Alicia is Stanley's half sister and Ami is Stanley's adopted sister. Oh my gosh, these girls. So I can understand that they're probably fighting because of the fact that um, they really um, didn't like each other very much. Ami and Alicia now despise each other. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, these two have never liked each other, so that really makes me sad. Um, they never could see eye to eye, and I feel really sad about that, especially now that they're at war together. <laughs> You'd think that they would at least try to be in each other's courts a little bit. So, um, back to what I was saying. Ami is the head chef, and we have Mary as her chef assistant, as well as Vixen Lust, who is apparently off to bed. <laughs> She's so cute. I love Vixen. And then we also have John, who is the head of the front lines with Jack. I have gone ahead and I have started, I have installed the enlist in war mod it's the same mod that i used for world war ii so i will have it linked below um the last time i used it it works really well but if you take the mod out it forgets that those sims have passed away so you know if you're going to pay, play like a legacy challenge you would have to either just leave the mod in forever or at some point at some point try um to remove it and then uh mark those sims as gone so I think just to start it off, I'm going to go easy on myself and I'm going to send, I know that a lot of you really like this guy here. I know that a lot of you really like John Walton Jr. Um, but we do have to start getting people to go to war. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to register um everybody for the draft let's just get it started <sighs> so ami did win her fight by the way with alicia but she is super tense from shipping out i don't blame her so everybody is officially registered for the draft so to start this off slow i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to actually we're just gonna ship out john walton jr off because I figure we should start with one that's not as serious to us as some of the other ones. I'm so nervous because I do love him, but let's just get it going. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, wait, Evelyn is here. What happened between her and Bailey? So after the first episode, Evelyn went and she visited. Who is she yelling at? She's always fighting with people complain about freezing temperatures that sounds like her she after the first episode she did go to Bailey and say listen you know I've heard your words it's crazy that we're here and all of that but I'm gonna be here you know so she's 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 at least trying her best to you know be there for her family members um, but she'd probably be very annoyed like look at my outfit look what they're making me do I don't even have my lipstick here Bailey how am I supposed to do this and Bailey would probably be like Evelyn we're gonna be fine you look beautiful as always but also um, probably saying you know it's you should be so proud of yourself Bailey like for you to volunteer and actually show up to go to war unlike your father like that shows such growth and such strength in your character and Evelyn's like what are you talking about like she's really mad she's not sure she's annoyed to be here and she doesn't know what Bailey's talking about so she's actually gonna say to Bailey like what are you talking about unlike my father my father died for his country Bailey's gonna say like well yeah your father died for his country but he tried to run and Gage actually ended up arresting him and dragging him overseas. Didn't you know that? She's like, what are you talking about? My father died willingly. And Bailey's just going to say to her, well, I'm sorry, Evelyn, but that's actually not what happened. So now Evelyn knows the truth about her dad. She's conflicted. She only volunteered for the war because of the fact that her father did it. So now she's like, so you're telling me I literally just volunteered to put myself on the chopping block for no reason. So she's a little annoyed, but she's gonna start, try to start a fire, I'm not sure how well. Oh, she did pretty good. But uh, Bailey's gonna say, you know, I'm really sorry that I broke the bad news for you. I didn't mean to spoil your image of your father for you. So she's gonna go ahead and go to the other tent and go to sleep. 
and hopefully in the morning they'll be well rested and prepared for what's to come. Vixen is here. She's just enjoying the fire. She's probably taking a turn guarding and, you know, just making sure that their military forces are strong. She's also probably up early because she's the cook. And also, this is the little post office that I downloaded. It is so cute and it's right beside the base so the girls can go work at the little post office. And they've got the tanks. And when I was researching the Korean War, I read about how, like, the importance of the tanks were, but how, like, so many of American tanks were destroyed during this battle because they just weren't prepared for the m amount of um, force that was coming from North Korea. So they weren't really prepared for what was heading their way. And that's why there were so many casualties during this battle. So I think he's going to be coming along here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm so nervous. So, so uh, Mary's up get going to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, he's back from war. Back from war. John has returned from his tour of duty, though he's happy to be alive. The experience left him scarred and changed. He survived twice, y'all. That's insane. This guy has such luck. You can't tell me he ain't no Captain America. Okay, I think we got to send one of our one of our girls. Let's go ahead and do Ami first. So Ami is awake. She has to go to the bathroom. I'm going to let her go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to send her off to war. And I'm so nervous. Oh, Ami. I'm so nervous. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and ship Ami out now. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll ship out Mary as well. So Ami's gone. Mary's gonna go. Oh my gosh. Ami's off to fight in the war. Everybody get a good look. She's not happy about it. I'll tell you that much. Ah! And off to war Mary goes. So this is Samuel's sister. She is gone to war. I'm so nervous because like I really have like all these plans for Ami's life that I'm like oh my gosh I just want her to live so badly but like we have so many sims too so it's kind of like you know what happens I need to commit to but it's so hard you become so attached to these characters I'm so nervous I'm so nervous I'm so nervous I'm so nervous <laughs> okay she's coming home any minute now oh my gosh I'm freaking out <laughs> Oh my god. Did she live? She wants a baby. <gasps> Fallen soldier! I don't care that you like ski. <gasps> Fallen soldier, we regret to inform you that Ami has fallen in the line of duty. Our nation is grateful for the service of all of those who lay down their lives to protect our citizens and our communities. We mourn with you at this difficult time. Ami Dempsey has died in the war. Oh my god, Harry. Oh my god. Oh, someone else just got back from war. Mary Gibbs is home. Death by combat. <gasps> what? Fallen soldier Mary Gibbs has passed away and she has died in the war. Look, she's taking her pulse. Oh, that's so horrible. Oh my god. Who else is gone? Alicia. Oh my god, Ami died. I bet you Evelyn is like, oh my god. Oh my god, someone just got back. Who are you? You're Vixen, right? Okay, so Alicia's the only one at war right now. Oh my gosh, I'm really sad, but I also have to send people off. Okay, you're dying, right? Mary died. Oh my god, Samuel is gonna be devastated. Alicia's at war. Ami um, died. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to ship out Vixen and Jack. Which I'm really sad about because I actually really like Jack, even though he's been a little bit of a turd. Okay, so Vixen and Jack are going now. Okay, well, at least we have someone that can take the bodies home, but 
I'm gonna have him go ahead and put Ami in his inventory. Oh my god. So Mary, so, oh my god. So Samuel lost his sister. So right now we have Alicia off at war, we have Vixen off at war, and we have Jack. I mean, for the sake of Stanley's genes and his life, I hope one of his siblings survive. It would be just Mary left, or it would just be Marisol left. She's about to be home. Okay. <gasps> what? How is there so many? Alicia Mead has died. I don't really care about Alicia, but I do in my own way. I'm kind of shocked. Oh my God, please Vixen, please Vixen. Okay, right now I'm just hoping Vixen lives. I'm sorry, Alicia, I do care, but Vixen, you guys. Vixen and Jack. Oh my God, I am freaking out. How did only one person so how is john the only one alive right now that just makes no sense to me that john survived and nobody else did okay if we lose bailey and evelyn i'm gonna freak out oh my god please 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 no 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 lifestyle gain no you're definitely living there's no way you're dying Fallen soldier vixen lust died, but Jack lived? What? Obviously there's a Obviously there's a sim god out there who sees Jack's potential in life. Vixen, you guys, we've lost Vixen. <laughs> We lost Vixen and Ami! Oh my god, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Bailey's like, I'm going skiing. No, you're going to war, girl. <gasps> Joey, I was like checking him out. I'm like, he is fine. It's Joey. Oh my gosh. Is Joey doing some type of undercover mission for the American military? <gasps> Interesting. Undercover Joey. So I actually really like Evelyn and Bailey. So I'm really sad. I've lost Vixen, which is absolutely devastating. I can't believe Jack survived. Um, he's returned from his tour, though he's happy to be alive. The experience has left him scarred and changed. So as sad as this is, maybe this is what it took to uh, make Jack grow from his anger and all of these emotions that he has been brewing over for years and years. Oh my God, I just, Vixen is like, I'm so upset right now that Vixen is gone. So loud and aggressive. Okay, she's gonna be home any minute now. I don't know where she's gonna spawn to. What, 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 what? what? Okay. Um, Evelyn died. Evelyn has fallen in the line of duty. Oh my god, Bailey's not even back yet. What? Bailey has returned from her tour of duty and she is happy to be alive. Bailey lost Ami and Evelyn, you guys. Evelyn! Evelyn dies. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I really like Evelyn's characters. Oh my gosh, Joey's gonna be so heartbroken because Vixen's gone. Diana, she had to stay in hiding. She didn't even get to say goodbye to Ami or to Bailey. So three. Three out of eight survived the war. Bailey survived. I'm so happy Bailey survived, but I'm like, super devastated that Evelyn died. Evelyn is dead, you guys. Can we just discuss this for a second, that Evelyn died? I honestly can't believe that Harry has to suffer through so much pain again. That makes me really, really sad. 
I'm actually really sad right now. I'm so sorry. I bet you guys are crying so much right now. Oh my god, it's just a game. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Um, in the next episode, we will obviously have the soldiers homecoming and the funeral for our fallen soldiers. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below and um, I will catch back up with all of you in the next one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say bye for now. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend, here today. But gone tomorrow Like a spark fly In the wind We all look up To our fathers All our lives If all is right And we all Need of mothers When the day is Dark as night the drums of war are getting louder, a sound you never heard before. Gonna come to your town, gonna find your corner, and we'll soon be knocking on your door. Someone pulls an easy trigger, puts another. His blood runs with his life.